Hey everyone, welcome back to Inside the Bottle TV. Today we're doing an episode again on Boda Box. Last time we did an episode, which you can find at this link right here. Boom. And uh, Kyle will post that up. And uh, we had a few comments on that episode. Maybe a couple of you guys were just searching Boda Box on YouTube. I'm not exactly sure. But I do know one of the gentlemen is Gabriel, who is just on our live stream. And so I promised I'd do an episode on Nighthawk Black. Oh, oh yeah. I'm going to just use this for the day because this was just given to me a few minutes ago. <laughs> Grab life by the glass. Um, and so they had asked, both gentlemen had asked us to do an episode on the Nighthawk Black because they haven't had it or they couldn't get it. Uh, but we have it. So we are going to do it. It's uh, Boda Box is uh, the product of Delicato Family Vineyards, which is out of California. Um, and these guys drop a lot of different wine into our shop and uh, we do very well with it. And so, you know, here's a premium box, the best box in its category, uh, which is Boda. And this is a three liter. Uh, we sell for $14.99. I know it ranges all the way to like 23 bucks uh, when I was kind of searching online. And so uh, hopefully you can get it at the lower price. Wouldn't that be great? Uh, three liters in a box, imagine that. That's a lot of wine to consume. Kyle is drinking it right now, taking a sip of it, um, and he's raving about it. So I'm kind of curious because I haven't done so yet. Uh, this box is, again, 2014 Nighthawk Black. It is a big California red blend with Zinfandel, Petite Syrah, and Syrah. Um, so I can just imagine how big it is. Uh, I don't know what the alcoholic, the alcohol content is. It looks like 13 and a half um, is the ABV. So when we pour a glass of this, as you can see, the, uh, the pour is right at the bottom of the box. And right after I poured Kyle a glass of it, it didn't drip, it didn't do anything. I mean, it really held, you know, it held strong and held solid. So I was really happy about that. I don't want to get the floors dirty today. Wow, it's like a really inky purple color that I'm getting, like dark, 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 dark red, purplish. Um, take a little sniff of this. Wow, you can really smell the Syrah. A lot of dark fruit. I mean, a lot of like jammy fruits that I can, uh, that I can smell through the aroma. Blackberries, dark cherry, almost like some spice. Take a little sip. Wow, you were right. <laughs> I get not like this huge oakiness. It's like really mild, it's medium. A lot of fruit up front, but like dark fruit again. Um, what else? Not overly tannic, mild tannins. It like wraps around, it wraps around my tongue and it's like luscious and like big and bold. I like it. The spiciness, like I'm a big fan of wines that are like, they have like that little tingling sensation when it's going down, like you're almost feeling the back of your throat, like a little bit of spiciness, like, and it's really good. As Nick would say, it's a very smooth wine. I like it, delicious. So for you guys that commented and wanted to see how we would review this, I'm gonna give you this out of 10 points. And again, I'm no wine expert or sommelier or anything like that. Like this is just me and my palate um, and Kyle's as well. And anybody else that's on the show and is part of this team. But I guess I'll kind of speak for everyone today and say that I would rate this like a seven out of 10. Um, I think it could use a little more complexity. I mean, it's just a lot of fruit. It's dark. It has all of those characteristics that I look for, but it kind of misses some of the complexity, like, you know, where you, it just like kind of lingers on your tongue and it sits there for a little while. And then you start tasting all these other different type of fruits and, uh, spices and, um, you know, 
all those other different type of things that your palate will pick up and the taste buds. I don't get a lot of that. Mm. But what I really thought was going to happen was it was going to be like really oaky and I'm not a big fan of a lot of oak. Um, I almost started, I never enjoyed drinking Chardonnay until recently and I've went the unoaked route. Um, and so it's really worked for me. And so with red wines, there's only a few that I really like where there's a lot of oak, but this one doesn't have that much present and it's, it's pretty good. So again, seven out of 10. Thanks guys for the comments. And I promised you I'd send you t-shirts, which Kyle left in his car. Otherwise I would show you, but they say inside the bottle TV, my last episode, actually today's episode, which is Saturday, the first of October. I can't believe it's October already. Uh, we're dropping an episode midday. Um, or in the evening and that one will have me wearing the shirt on it so you can check it out. So uh, thanks for emailing me over your uh, sizes, Gabriel. Uh, the other gentleman, I don't know your name and I'm sorry. I know it's in my email somewhere. <sighs> sorry guys. Um, but uh, again, Nighthawk Black 2014 Big Bold Red Blend. Petit Syrah, Syrah, Zinfandel 2014, 13.5% alcohol, Delcato Family Vineyards wine, and uh, I really enjoyed drinking it. Kyle, did you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, cheers, guys. Thanks. Again, um, subscribe to our channel, please. Please. And uh, like our page. It would, it would mean the world to me and Kyle and everyone else. And uh, thank you, guys. Appreciate you.